power is being cut to more homes today in Rancho Palos Verdes, and now there's a new concern keeping their property safe. Eyewitness News reporter Monica Deganda is there live and has the latest this morning. Monica. Philip Giovanna, good morning. Today, 140 homes here in the Portuguese Bend community waking up without power. We were speaking to many neighbors out here, and they're telling us that safety is a top concern. This morning, we saw LA County Sheriff's deputies parked outside and inside this community, making their presence felt. SoCal Edison cutting off power Sunday after ongoing land movement in the area, left homes and roads damaged, erasing the threat of landslides. Many residents telling us, despite being without power, they are not going anywhere. But some people did evacuate, leaving some concerned about potential looters. Of course, we're very um, concerned about someone taking advantage of our situation. And that also includes vendors, plumbers, electricians, Everybody acts like they want to help us, but when they, in reality is, there's too many people in this world that take advantage of people, and that's including the looters. And today, new power shutoffs expected in the Seaview community starting at 7 p.m. Most of these will be temporary, 47 of them for just 24 hours and another 38 for one to three weeks. During that time, repairs and rerouting work will be underway. But 20 homes in Seaview will lose power indefinitely, joining their Portuguese Bend neighbors in the dark. We're doing our best to keep the power safely flowing. We're dealing with unstable ground and electrical infrastructure needs solid ground to make sure we can keep the power safely flowing. And right now you're taking a look at this setup that SoCal Edison has for the Portuguese Bend community. It's a charging station. They have fruit, snacks, and uh, other things available for residents of this area. They will be here on Narcisa and Fruit Tree until 6, 6 p.m. tonight. Now, we also reached out to the mayor of Rancho Palos Verdes and asked him if there was any update on the request that they put out, uh, an emergency request for the governor. They tell us so far they have not heard back from Governor Newsom. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.